This video is made available by the Allegheny College Computer Science Department under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivative Works version 3.0 license. In this video we'll look at the second half of page 49 from Data Structures and Algorithms in Java. In the last video we left off having implemented uh, a skeleton of the class. In this video we'll look at the toString method. This is the method that uh, gives us a visual representation of our class. So the first line lays out, remember this is a board and we need to be able to see what row and column we actually want to play into. So we need some numbers along the top. So in building up a result string, the first thing that Peter does is he gives us a, a set of numbers from 0 through 7 up at the top. The next thing he does is he loops through the entire array. And we already did this actually up in the constructor. And as you can see, I can't remember what my variable names are. But we're going to loop through the array, um, going through the rows 0 through 7, and then the columns 0 through 7. And the first bit of this, uh, of this looping is a line that says result plus equals a new line plus row. And what that's going to do is that gives us a new line followed by a number on the left hand side. So as we're going down we'll get a row numbering um, so that we actually know where we want our dominoes to go. So it ends rows and gives us numbers down the left hand side. And then in the inner loop what we're doing is that is where we're going to actually print out the state of the board. So that's where if there's a, if there's a domino somewhere we'll then print a little uh, print a hash sign and if there isn't anything there we'll print a dot. So if the boolean value stored at row and column right, which will be maybe 0, 0 or 0, 1 and so on then we want if if it's true that means there's a domino there so we should put a hash mark and if there's nothing there, we should build up a dot. So that's my inner if statement. It's just saying, hmm, is there a domino? Yes, good. No? Okay. The last thing we do is we return the result. If you forget to do that, the compiler will complain. Um, so the last thing we do is we return the string that was built up, or the string representation of the board, if you prefer. It might be a bit of a redundant comment but it's there now. So I think that's the entire toString method. But this is something that I, I mentioned in an earlier video, so here I can create a new domineering object, I can say toString, and mm, that's really not useful. So if you go back in, what you can do is I like to add a print string method. This is useful for me for testing, nothing more. And so I can do a system.out.println, and all I want to print is the string returned by toString. So now, if I come over here, I create a new domineering object, and then I come down and I say print string. Ah, see, now I can see that string in a sensible manner. That looks pretty good. And I'll go ahead and set my option to clear the screen whenever I invoke a new method. So that's it. That's the two-string method for domineering. 